Hello. We are out on the road again. We're heading towards the Yorkshire Dales. Um, I've got a an LVA bit of a group meeting. The LVA is the Landscape of Vlogtography Adventures Facebook group. If you're not a member of that Facebook group, why aren't you a member of that Facebook group? Uh, I'll put a link uh, in the description below so that you can just click on it and head on over to uh, Facebook and join our group. Uh, there's a couple of questions to ask just to make sure we don't get any spam. Um, but yeah, I'm in the traffic at the moment. I'm on the M6, I'm heading north. And uh, yeah, pretty much uh, stuck in some traffic. Heading up to um, Ribblehead Viaduct or thereabouts. I've hired a small cottage, a lodge for the weekend. There is going to be five people stopping in the lodge and I will probably be in my van as it's full. Um, so yeah, all in all, it's going to be quite a nice weekend if <laughs> I can get out of this damn traffic because I hate traffic. If you're interested, ever interested in these sort of things, these are what I post on our uh, Facebook group, you know, on the LVA group. Uh, and occasionally I do do these little meetups where I hire a property or something like that so people got places to sleep. Um, so if you're interested, jump on that Facebook group and uh, make sure you keep an eye on what's going on. Even if you're not 100% into photography and you just want to come along for the journey and the trip and the adventure, then, you know, you're more than welcome. So we are here, we're out and it's dark and it's pitch black and you cannot see me because I've just put my torch away, but we're with the group. I got to the accommodation yesterday evening. Everyone's turned up, everyone's safe, everyone's well. Um, we decided to come out and have a play in the dark. Oh, I've got a light just appeared on me. <laughs> um, here we come out and have a play in the dark. We're actually stood by Charlie's tree at the moment. And Charlie's tree is over yonder there. And as you know, if you watch my videos, I'll put a link up for you in the top corner. I've been here before. Um, and the guys wanted to have a look at it so we've come out in the rain and the wind and the cold just for the hell of it um, but it is clearing um, sunrise is due in the next half an hour uh, we're not probably going to see any sun whatsoever but at least we're here we're trying and we're going to make the effort and you never know i might get the camera out and get a shot and have something completely different and completely moody and atmospheric so uh, yeah that's checking in for now and uh, i'll report back if we actually manage to get a photo so I'm hunkered down with my camera out. I've got the camera out, I've got the bag on the top, I'm trying to keep as much water off it as possible because it is absolutely piddling it down. My fingers are numb. I don't, didn't realize how cold it's gonna be because we've got a cottage, uh, all my stuff's in the van and the van is part there, but because I haven't picked things out of the van, I haven't brought my gloves out, I haven't got my hand warmers out, I haven't got anything out that I normally got with me. Um, so I'm absolutely freezing at the moment. Colder than I have been for a very, very long time. Almost like the chief are tight to chatter. Chief or even teeth. But I've got the camera set up, I thought I'd just try and see if I can get a couple of shots because these are the sort of conditions, if you don't try, you don't know. And you might find you'll end up with an image that someone else probably wouldn't have because they're not stupid enough to stand there in these conditions. You know, who, who wants to come out in the rain, sit here by a tree and just take a picture of nothing? Do you know what I mean? It's like, not many people do this, but, 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 I actually think there's quite a nice atmospheric shot. I don't know if I'm going to keep it colour or whether I'm going to turn it black and white. Um but there is definitely a shot. And now the sheep are walking up like they did last time I was here. So I might even get another shot with a sheep in it as long as they stand still long enough. Um, but yeah, I've, I've managed to get something. So I'll put it up on the screen and then let's see what happens later on. So we are now all gearing up, ready to go for a walk. And we're going for a bit of a mystery tour um, because we're going to find this little bridge, a river, and a couple of barns. Um, so we are all outside. It's, the rain is going off a little bit. Everything, yep. Yeah. Let's lock us up and uh, yeah, I'll show you where we're going once I know where we're going. I've got to look for a pathway. So I'll speak to you in a bit. As you can see, we are now out and about and I've got a completely 
new group really uh, out this weekend. Um, Craig, I've met Craig before. Craig's quite popular. We've had a lot to do with each other. He's uh, up from, you know, down from Scotland, and also Chris is with us. We've met Chris in a couple of videos as well, um, and also Lee. We've met in the past, um, going back many, many moons. Um, yeah, it's looking quite interesting. The rain stopped at last, thank God, and there's some really, really nice light on these hills. Really nice, and it just makes me wonder why I haven't got my camera on the capture clip. And uh, in all fairness, I might actually get it out in a moment because I'm missing a few things that are just dotted around because there's a little barn up there and the hills behind it look really, really cool. But we are here to shoot this bridge and that's where we're heading. I would never have found this without Dave's Elf either that suggested it. So uh, yeah, thanks. We all just had to stop and have a crafty shot of the viaduct. Uh, as we're walking down, we've got the river in front of us, we've got the viaduct, we've got the light on the hills behind, the atmosphere going on and this nice stone wall leading through. So just had to grab a bit crafty one before we get to this little bridge. We are actually here already at the first little bridge stop uh, and it looks a bit dodgy getting down there, but it almost so it looks like a really good shot as well. Um, you see two of them are already down on the bottom there. This is what we've come to have a look at, this little bridge here. It's a nice little old pack bridge and uh, that's pretty awesome. So I'd like to get a shot of it, but I'm just gonna have to be very careful climbing down, I think. We've actually come over the other side of the uh, of the bridge. It's a little bit safer side, this side. But what we are, are fighting for places. Typical when you're out in a group like this, everyone wants to get a shot and you've got all these cameras and tripods around so you have to make the most of what you can when you can. Normally I'm the one that's in front, but at the moment I'm not, but I will be. So I'm up bank a little bit this time to start with. We've got a nice flow coming from the bottom left uh, there's a bit of swirly water going on as well, which is quite nice. And then the bridge is more towards the right-hand side, which works quite well. I definitely want a polarizer on, so out come the old Maven polarizers, and this one's blue, so I know it's the polarizer. And that should just cut through the glare of the water, which it is. It's cutting through, it's making that water darker and richer, which is quite nice. I'm going to bracket as per standard. It's quite messy in the top because you've got all these trees and stuff going on, but. You can sort of ignore them for the love of the water leading underneath. Very much a, a standard looking image. I want to try and make more of it. I want to creep down the bank. I want to try and look up, make it bigger, try and make the water. Looking from here, it's sort of standard. Can't get close not good on my feet sort of style iPhone shot so I do need to make something more of it making our way up to some barns now having a bit of an explore this is what it's about this is about out trying to find things looking at different things because everyone that comes to this area and River Led always goes up on the limestone path, they always do the riverlet viaduct, but we're doing something a little bit different that you wouldn't normally do. It's actually quite nice, and you can see where we're staying from where we are now. We're literally staying next, not the big part, but the small part of that big house you can see up there, and then the viaduct is over there behind us. So we're, we're really close to where we are. We've literally walked from our accommodation, which is quite nice. And we've got a couple of old barns up here. These old walls look really smart. That bridge was, was okay, I think I showed you a, a reasonable shot of it but it's just one of those things where it looks really nice it's amazing to see but to actually get a good photograph of it is it's a bit hard i've just been having a bit of a meltdown uh from my eyes the view here is stunning i've got viaduct i've got a tree for focal dis for focal interest i've got this beautiful wall i've got everything going on i've got light in the background the clouds, the sky, it's, it's amazing. But can I get in a position to get this shot? Can I? Hell is like, I run up there trying to get high, looking down on it, but it's too messy. I went down to the left, but then you're losing the viaduct. I went up in the air, holding my tripod up in the air, but then it's hard to get it balanced and composite, you know, composition right. If you go too wide, there's too much grass in the bottom with the wall and everything's going on in the background. So everywhere I went, I just cannot get the shot that I can see. And the only thing I'm thinking of, if it'll work, 
is if I can do a long strip panoramic. So I get rid of all that boring grass, boring green in the bottom and just have all the interest along the middle. But by doing that, I'm going to have to shift this lot that are in front of me. Um, and the light's gone off behind the viaduct now and it's onto the right hand side. But I don't know, this is really annoying, really frustrating because it's there. The image is there, it's beautiful, but I just can't get it. I can't take it. I just don't know how to get it all to work. Where you want? Well, probably walk from here. hiding underneath the tunnel. We're actually in the, one of the tunnels of the viaduct. Uh, there's a little walkway that comes through. So we're just taking cover and refuge. We've, we've got to the viaduct because I'm gonna finish this video off with a little bit of a, a special. There's a steam train coming over the viaduct. I think it's the Royal Scotsman or the Royal Scot. Um, it's coming over the, over the viaduct, heading up north. So all the smoke and the steam should be behind it. Um, the conditions we're in is going to make it difficult because it could be raining at a time but we're just taking cover in refuge in there a little bit uh, the others are down in the cafe having coffee me and craig walked up uh, we didn't want to stop and take all our gear off and get warmed up in the cafe just to come out in the cold again so we walked up and we're just uh, having an hour's chill out now waiting for it to happen the others are finished drinking coffee now and they radioed us and said they're out they're actually over there stood over there waiting for the train to come along this is where the train's coming along this is river led viaduct if you don't know it um, it's a massive, massive viaduct and it's got a real curvature to it as well, which you can't see from this angle. Um, but from the air, it looks pretty awesome. Now, whether I get my drone out or not, I don't know, because if you look into that distance, it looks extremely grey. That means there's a big splash of rain coming through. So I don't want to be caught out in the rain when it comes along and not be able to get the photographs. So I'm going to leave that one at the moment open and see what happens. But the camera's out. It's on its tripod. It's got this little bag to keep it dry at the moment because the rain's coming in any minute now. We're going to get drenched and uh, it's just sitting and waiting now uh, we've still got probably half an hour three quarters of an hour to wait so i don't know what i'm doing here so early standing in the rain but hey ho why not So the train's on its way at last, so I'm going to spin you around so you can watch the train coming over the top and I'll get some photos. Oh, I'm so cold.
We've been stood around for hours and hours and hours. We've got our steam train. <laughs> this guy here, who's just walked up beside us, literally walked up two minutes before the train come along and got his shot. <laughs> Yeah, we've been out all day basically, so we ended up walking over here and we've been stood, me and Clive, we've been probably been stood here about an hour and a half. So, yeah, we knew what time it was coming, but we just couldn't be bothered to walk anywhere else, so we just hang around. <laughs> I think, I think that was worth it. Um, like I said, we stood around for a long time. Um, we're very cold. We now have to walk back to our cottage, but I can't wait to get back to have a decent brew, get my fingers warmed up and uh, yeah, just to basically have something to munch on. Uh, we went out this morning to shoot, uh, as you know, and uh, we didn't bring any food with us because we wasn't expecting to be out all day. We were gonna walk down, do the bridge, and then go back to the cottage. But as it is, we didn't. So uh, yeah, hunger is the name of the game. I've got a scotch egg to get down me and uh, definitely got to warm these hands up because my hands are freezing but it's gorgeous conditions because they're on and off apart from it being cold wet and horrible every so often in between those spells you're getting some amazing light now that shot that i just taken i've just taken a dozen shots of the, the train coming over the bridge as you've seen there the steam was pumping out it looked really really good thank you for watching uh, thanks for staying with us today it's been a, a different morning uh, shooting randomly and just taking different shots and uh I don't know what happens, what's going to happen tonight. Um, we might have a bit of an evening shoot somewhere, but we'll be getting up again in the morning and having another go tomorrow. So if I don't see you this evening, I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao for now. Don't forget to give us that thumbs up, like and subscribe and all the usual stuff. And uh, it's starting to rain again. I'm going to have to pack my gear away. See you later. Bye bye.